Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make something a little bit different. I'll be showing you how to make an outhouse toilet. I originally designed this for use on my campsite, but it since occurred to me that you could absolutely include this in plenty of other builds. You could use it in a certain survival houses. You could use it in more old, more rustic style houses, especially if all of these are wood. It absolutely makes sense to have one of these if you have any sort of like wooden cabins or biome houses that look a little bit like this. And with you on certain types of lake houses it just makes a really cool accessory to a primary build and it just kind of like sets things apart whereas you'd usually just have like flowers or just nothing in this space and it kind of looks cool I really like the design of this thing but if you do want to build it on a campsite and you don't have a campsite yet if you want to make one all you have to do is head to either the card system the description below or as I click my fingers a picture is going to appear on the screen and you can follow that picture by clicking the link to the annotation and it will take you to my campsite tutorials playlist which you can also find in the card system and the description below and it will show you how to make absolutely everything that you can see on the ground. It will show you how to make the lake, the boathouse, the lake house, it will show you how to make a boat eventually, the campsite, the caravan, the RV, the wooden cabin and now the outhouse. Check that out if you're interested in making any and all of this stuff. If you do, you'll end up with something that looks pretty awesome, I mean just look down below. This thing is getting crazy, but that is more than enough talking guys, let's talk about the outhouse. So if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some oak wood planks, grab yourself some dark oak stairs, you'll also need some spruce wood stairs, and grab yourself some oak wood slabs. You'll need never brick slabs, there's a decent chance that we may even need dark oak slabs, also, grab yourself a door of some description. My favourite one to use is spruce. I'm also going to grab some dark oak fence. And I'm going to leave it at that. We'll need loads more stuff for this, but we'll just have to grab it as we need it. So, once you have each one of those materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it just right of this lake house, my bizarro world lake house. And once you figure that all out for yourself, you're going to want to kick this off with a single oak wood plank on the ground. Then, leaving a gap of one going right, place another oak wood plank. Then, behind each one of these oak wood planks, leaving a gap of one, place an additional oak wood plank. So you have kind of like this square formation, like this. On top of each one of these planks, add three additional planks. That's one, two, and three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. What you then want to do is, coming to the front of your outhouse, you want to place a door right at the bottom of it. Above the door, place an oak wood slab. Then, you want to take out a material that we don't have, I told you guys we need more stuff, which is going to be oak wood stairs, and you're going to want to do an upside down facing oak wood stairs in this position, like this. For whatever reason, whenever you've seen like movies and old cartoons and stuff, there's always like a moon on the door of these things. That's what this is supposed to simulate. I think it looks kind of cool, to be honest. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, we want to take out at dark oak wood stairs. We want to do a dark oak wood stairs in front of the bottom two corners of the outhouse, and we want to do upside down dark oak wood stairs right at the top two corners. We then want to connect those together with a dark oak wood slab, like this. We then want to connect the dark oak wood stairs together with a layer of dark oak wood fence, like so. Once you've done that, we can then come to the left hand side of what we've made and we can work on this. So to start off with, we're going to want to do a spruce wood stairs right at the bottom of the space in between of the outhouse. Above that, place an oak wood plank. Above that, do an upside down spruce wood stairs. Above that, you want to do, and we don't have this material, so we're going to have to get rid of the spruce doors, and we'll need spruce planks, or spruce slabs, my apologies. And we want to, leaving a gap of like half of one, we want to place a spruce wood slab right at the top, like that. What we can then do is we can place regular facing dark oak wood stairs at the bottom two corners and upside down dark oak wood stairs right at the top two corners. And then we want to connect them together with dark oak fence, like that. Great! Let's come to the back of the outhouse now and let's see what we're going to do here. So, for the back of the outhouse, we're going to do a very similar thing to what we did on the side. So we'll do the spruce wood stairs right at the bottom. We'll then do the oak wood planks right on top. We'll do the upside down spruce wood stairs above that, 
and then we will do the slab right at the top and that's the wrong slab the spruce wood slab like so we then want to do regular facing dark oak wood stairs right at the bottom upside down dark oak wood stairs at the top and then we want to connect them together with dark oak ferns then coming to the right hand side of this we want to do regular facing spruce wood stairs on the side we want to do an oak wood plank above upside down spruce wood we then want to do a spruce wood slab right at the top and then we want to with our dark oak wood stairs we want to place two regular facing right at the bottom two corners two upside down right at the top two connect them together with dark oak fence and there you have it what we now want to do is this so you can see the moon on the front of this build can't you well what we want to do is we want to put never brick slabs behind the back of this moon and this is just so that it actually stands out a little bit you don't have to use dark oak, uh, you don't have to use never brick slabs if you don't want to you could absolutely use like coal coal would look good black wool black wool would look good any variety of materials or even glowstone if you wanted it to really glow and stand down well what we now want to do is this so all the way up at the top of this build, we want to have a square layer of oak wood slabs that goes all the way around the top of this build. So it kind of just goes all the way around the top like this, and we just want to have a square layer that looks a little something like that. We then want to have a layer of dark oak wood slabs. You know what might actually be cool, and I don't know whether this would actually interfere, and it would. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That is such a shame. Um, well, what I was going to suggest was, just in case you guys were interested, I was going to suggest placing, like, a glowstone, like, right at the top of here. Um, and have it kind of, like, half a block inwards, so you couldn't really see it, but it was still emitting light, but you can't really have that. So, we're just going to fill the top of this in with dark oak wood slabs. It's such a shame that we couldn't do that, and it'll look fine, but I really would have liked it if the glowstone would have been there, I and mean, we just have to replace the um, block that we broke, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. Never mind, it's in there. Um, what we then want to do is, once you've got that taken care of, we want to place dark oak, or we want to place regular oak wood slabs in between the stairs going all the way around the bottom of this build so you want to knock out the blocks right at the bottom of this build in between like the feet of the outhouse so in between the dark oak wood stairs and we want to replace them with regular oak wood use the slabs use the actual planks it's up to you we're now going to open this thing we're going to destroy these two blocks and i realized that we did uh, just destroy the door here but that's okay and we're going to fill this first block in with oak, wood, with oak wood, and then we're going to place a cauldron in the ground behind it. We're going to place a tripwire hook above this, and whoops, come on. Why won't the why won't the hook place? Oh, well, there we go. That'll do. And we're going to place a water in this thing as well, like that. It's because that's a stair at the back. You could change that to a plank if you were so bothered. And we can put the door back on now. And that's obviously just a little bit of a toilet. That's that's what that is. There's uh, there's nothing else about that. And that is the outhouse. But if you do want to decorate the outside, if um, if for instance you place it on like a campsite or something like that, you might want to add some bone meal going all the way around just to kind of make it uh, blend in a little bit and something that I always like to do around campsites around stuff that you'd actually expect to be used um, a little bit of podzol in the ground kind of like just just as a little bit of a path um, I find that it kind of looks good and uh, I'm just going to destroy a little bit of the greenery surrounding the front of the there we go surrounding the front of the outhouse and there you go guys that is the outhouse it's very very easy to make really and I really like it. Hopefully you guys do too. If you enjoyed this build, please give it a like, give it a favorite, give it a share. It's just something small that I thought that you guys might really like to see instead of me potentially just not posting a video today as it is Sunday. Well, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the card system, check out the description below for my campsite tutorials playlist. There is loads of stuff in those in that particular playlist. You'll be able to make your own entire campsite. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.